Guys, coming at you again with another video. Today we are at Oakwood of Greenville. Uh, we're checking out this Oakwood. This is the floor plan in the Lewis. This is a three bedroom, two bath. It's a 1,736 square foot home. And we're gonna check it out today. We have a brown trim here. We do have shutters on this one. We do have this white uh, kind of trim bar going up around the roof line. Brown trim up the top. Uh, really gives you a good, uh, good essence coming in, looking at the front of the house. On um, this door, just a regular door. Uh, exterior light. I believe this comes with an exterior light. Um, they just don't put it on here for shipping reasons. So coming in, we do have this massive living room. Um, it's really nice to have uh, this huge living space. You know, it expands all the way across the house. You have two big windows, really giving you a lot of natural light. And then you have over here this open concept going across the house. So in here on the left, we do have an island kitchen. Super big island, by the way. Over there, single bowl farmhouse sink three windows above the sink. So if you love standing by the sink and having windows to look out your backyard, this is a great house, great floor plan for that. Now you have a lot of cabinets in this kitchen as well. You have these cabinets over here, cabinets down here, cabinets under the sink by the dishwasher. And then on this side as well, you have super, super big cabinets that go really far in. So you really have a lot of room in there. Um, more cabinets over here, some more cabinets up in the corner, range hood, stove, cabinets over here and this right here is the refrigerator but you also have a cereal shelf right above so for those of you who store your cereal above that uh, it's a great place to do it now as we go over here this is actually your dining room believe it or not i also believe when you get the four bedroom option this becomes your fourth bedroom um don't quote me on that i'm not an oakwood uh represent you know, representative but uh, i believe that's what this is um so this is a separate dining room uh not very common in this size of a manufactured home, but it's right across from the kitchen. So you could easily take your prepared food from there and set it on the table and be ready for Thanksgiving, Christmas, or just a regular day dinner. Now we had the first living room over here. It was really big and spacious and really open over to the kitchen with the front door and the two big windows. But over here, just past the dining room, we actually have a second living room. Now this one has three big windows this time, a great area to put the TV. And by the way, these shelves are all with the home. Uh, these are built right in. You don't have to pay any extra. They just come with it. Um, and you do have plug-ins down here. A nice big TV top right here. Big chair here. Uh, once again, remember, this is all staged. None of that comes with it. But that whole wall over there is what you get. Nice ceiling fan in here. Great plug-ins over here. And actually still a lot of space over here. Even though they staged it, they literally couldn't buy enough furniture to fill it. So this room is plenty big. Once again, that's the hallway that takes us back into the first door, as well as the uh, first living room. This is our second living room. Now, off of the second living room, we have this little hallway over here that brings us to the thermostat. Now, this is a smart thermostat. Once again, all these homes have a th smart, smart thermostat that really helps you uh, decide what you're going to do with it. But this is our first bedroom right here. Uh, inside the first bedroom, we've got a big window. Once again, these Clayton or these uh, Oakwood homes all have really, really nice. Uh, plugins. They have a lot of them uh, and they're well spaced out. There's not, you know, three in one spot or anything like that. A nice big closet in here. You have a vent over here. Um, once again, I like that the vent uh, isn't right up against the wall. Some some manufacturers will put that right up against the wall and uh, that's not super great because most of the time you put your stuff near the wall. So it prevents you from, from uh, putting things on top of it. Now here in the kids bed uh, bathroom, because these are both kids bedrooms, kids bathroom, we have another sink single sink, toilet, and a shower tub combo so the kids can hose off, get clean, whatever. Now, as we go into the second kid's bedroom, once again, another big window, same as the other one. Plug-ins everywhere along the bottom. Uh, once again, we do have recessed lighting in both of these. I forgot to show that in this house. We do have recessed lighting. There's the vent, by the way, on the other room. There was a piece of drywall, so you couldn't really see how, how far it was from the wall, but once again, that's probably a eight or 10 inch gap away from the wall. And then we have this closet, which actually does have some boxes that uh, probably for things that come with the house. Um, but smoke detectors are uh, right above the door, so that's not a super terrible spot to have it. Um, we do have one here in the hallway. And as we go across the house, once again, this is our second living room. A really nice one, super big, lots of windows. Dining room, kitchen, beautiful kitchen. First living room with the front door. Now, as we go into this back room, this is your back door and this is your laundry room. So you have washer hookup, dryer hookup, and a little space right here to put a folding table or whatever. Now, actually, you couldn't put a table here because the door swings. But if you didn't really care, you could take this door off and easily put a little folding table here or even a shoe rack or whatever you needed. Um, and then inside this closet, I'll show you inside this closet. I like to 
show every piece of the house. We do have your HVAC unit as well as your tanked water heater over here. So, all right, let me take you into the master bedroom. By the way, this is your electrical panel right here next to the back door. You have switches for the lights. Um, let's get huge countertop. All of these are GFCI protected as they should be to code. Uh, one misconception of these manufactured homes is that they are uh, they are not well built, and that's just not true. Uh, they have to be well built to pass code, and they ought to be individually inspected. So every home that you can get is going to be safe to live in. You don't need to worry about that. Um, so you know anybody out there saying that manufactured homes aren't good, and actually in some cases they're better built because they're in a controlled environment inside of a factory instead of out in the real world swelling and uh, you know being exposed to large amounts of heat and moisture. So. As we look into the uh, master bedroom, this is a huge, huge bedroom. You've got two massive windows over there letting in a lot of natural light, which is super nice, as well as it faces the front side of the house. So you can definitely see anybody coming, whether somebody was coming up to the front door to knock on or whatever, you can see them from here. Um, once again, these vents spaced from the wall, vents spaced from the wall, plenty of plugins. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different plugins just in the bedroom. Now, as we're in the bedroom, once again, we have these recessed lights. We also have this big light here, two separate switches for each. So as we flip the switch, it turns off and vice versa. So you can really pick what type of lighting you want in here. And I like that. So here's our first closet. Uh, you know, really, really offers a lot of space uh, for two adults in here. Um, as we go into the bathroom, the bathroom's over here. We do have a double vanity, uh, plenty of storage underneath of it. And this does have a separate tub and shower. So this has our glass single door shower. Uh, that they offer here at Oakwood. Yep, really nice. And then when you do it the toilet, and you have a massive tub with a little ledge all the way around. So you really could store a lot of bath soap, a lot of bath bombs, um, whatever you store over the bathtub. Uh, there actually is a separate light here. Let me turn that on. That really brightens up the area a bit. As well as there's this window here. Uh, that window is nice and big, right over the tub. Uh, really great. In the summertime, I'm sure it would be awesome to open up that window, let some fresh air in while you bathe. Be awesome. Um, th these fixtures are actually very nice. Once again, uh, they have a gr they do a great job of getting great partnerships and getting great quality uh, in their homes. And I like put showcase in that. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys as the viewers uh, looking at these homes with me, and I appreciate uh, Oakwood of Greenville for letting me look at these homes. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed all the content, and I hope you guys have a great day.